Right, well, here goes my first few tutorial. We're going to have a go at making this big broadsword. Okay, fantastic. It was designed by um, White Lotus Flower on one of the Animal Fo Bloom forums, and I absolutely love it. I've adapted it myself, so a few changes. Right, to start off with, you're going to need three grey 260 and two brown 260 and a scrap of whatever colour you feel you'd like for the gem in the handle. To start off we're going to do the blade. You're going to need to inflate pretty much fully your three two scissors. We're going to plait these or braid these together. I tend to start off with a small ear twist and then attaching the other two by tying them together at the nozzle. The ear twist just makes that fastening a little bit easier. And then all you do is plait or braid the blade itself as long as you want it. And we'll get near the bottom, twist them in together like, just like that. Okay, what we're going to do now is at the base we're going to make two ear twists. Like that. And another balloon. Like that. So we've got two ear twists and then our scraps. We can get rid of these. Don't need these now, so just break them off. Cut them off, tie them off, whatever you do. Blade. We're going to pull that to one side and we're going to start with the handle. Handle, mocha brown, brown, black, I use all different colours, inflated to about just over four fingers, five fingers. Okay, we're going to start with an ear twist, like that, and then we're going to make a four finger bubble, followed by another ear twist. And then two or three finger bubble, just so we get one shorter than the other, gives it a nice bit of curve. Okay, for the next part of the handle, we're going to make about five finger bird body. So, like that. I'm going to do two of these, one for each side, so they're both symmetrical. And then just here, I'm going to twist them and lock them together. You can go back to your blade now, and at the end with the two ear twists, you're going to twist that in. Where you've just thrown those together. A bit tricky, but makes it a good steady handle. Okay, now we need to make the rest of the handle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist them together, wrap them around two or three times so we get a nice twist. And then with one of the ends, we're going to do two ear twists like that and then get rid of the rest and tie it up just like that now this we're going to make is the end of the handle hopefully you'll have just a little tiny bit left to squeeze the air back and then you can twist that in to give you your handle we can then take our scrap of whatever colour for your jewel. Doesn't need much in at all. Tie it off. 
split it into two and tie them together. This is going to be the jewel in our handle. There we go, just like that. The handle, where has it gone? The handle. And just push it in. If you want, you can use one of the ties just to secure that. Straighten up all the handles. Make sure everything's pointing upwards. There we go. One broadsword. Have fun.